tickets when uh, it's, it, it says that you are okay or, or uh, made, made a point of, but uh, uh, it, it was, uh, the third floor was quite an open profession. There was a sign in the room that it's KGB officer working here. If you had any problems uh, you wanted to tell to KGB, you could always go there all about the problems of your colleagues. Please, you're welcome to tell about this. And uh, it was quite, quite open. And uh, this room and the second uh, floor room, these were secret. And people have asked that, why don't you renovate it like it was? But the problem is that we, we don't actually know what it was like. Because, of course, the hotel employees uh, had no access to these rooms. And what we do here, again, tell about uh, the, the time or by, by details. For example, uh, it belonged to interests and it was for training of, of guides. And if some, some of you speak uh, German, it's a story of a guide about a uh, town named Tartu in southern Estonia. So basically, uh, uh, guides couldn't tell anything they like. They were very strictly instructed uh, what to say, what to tell, and there was always uh, one part uh, one, one third of the stories had to be about the uh, nowadays success of Soviet Union, of course. And now, uh, you should be very uh, careful, or, or uh, if, if you uh, name somebody or label somebody of, of KGB worker or, or KGB cooperant or collaborant, uh, because formally we may say that all the guides uh, left report to the KGB after the foreign group had left uh, the country. So formally say, cooperated with, uh, with KGB. But to say that these people uh, made some harm is, is again uh, very, very unfair because it was the only way how to do the job. And the second thing, what they wrote to the reports, it was also very formal. So if you, if you write that, uh, the group asked when the evening performances at theatres begin, so it doesn't harm anybody. And uh, for a short time, uh, they, they even agreed with each other, <coughs> with each other, what to what to write to these reports. And uh, for two 